If you told me I could only do one thing for the rest of my life, it would be chasing waterfalls. This is Hasawa Falls and it runs just along the Tama River. The water is so clean and crystal clear. And if you want this secret spot that's showing in the video, then just let me know and I will put the link in the comments. If you live near Tokyo and the surrounding areas, then I highly recommend Hasawa Falls. It's about a 45 minute drive from Yokota Air Force Base. But before you get there, what you're gonna do first is you're gonna stop at 7-Eleven. We just hooked it up at 7-Eleven. Blueberry smoothie. Ice latte. Strawberry banana smoothie. Whatever this is, some lemon drink. And we got chicken and potato croquettes. Try to leave your house as early as possible. We have been to Hasawa Falls before, like a little bit later in the afternoon or even like around lunchtime is when everyone starts showing up. But here we're leaving the house around like seven in the morning and we got there right around eight. That way we had plenty of time to stop at 7-Eleven and we always eat everything hot and fresh right there in the parking lot because it's just so much better that way. If you live here, you already know about the hot case and the spicy red chicken. And if you don't and you're moving here, then that's something to definitely look forward to. When Devron and I first moved here, I think we ate the hot case for like a month straight, like almost every day. And after like a month, we were tired of it, but then we went back to it and now we're still eating it and we're about to leave here. So that'll tell you something. What I like about Hasawa Falls is one, it's not too far of a drive. I mean, I know 45 minutes is quite a bit, but it's totally worth it. Two, they have free parking. And so I absolutely love that we can just pull right up and there's plenty of parking. So unless it's a weekend at lunchtime, you're probably gonna find a parking spot. It's a beautiful drive up in the mountains and at a certain point you'll be kind of going through the canyon and all you see is just these green beautiful tall trees surrounding you this is the entrance to the parking so make sure you take note of this this is where you're going to turn and you'll go up a short hill and there'll be this first parking lot right here and then you cross a bridge that's where you enter the trailhead right there and then there's all of this other parking so there's tons of parking which is really convenient I always translate all the Japanese signs just in case we need to pay for parking. I don't want to get towed. And this one just looked like so aesthetic. And so I wanted to translate it and see what it said. Google Translate for the win. We just arrived. There's so much parking. It looks like hardly anyone here. It's already beautiful. Right now it's springtime and the flowers are blooming. It's so green and beautiful. This area is full of waterfalls and trailheads and mountains to climb and cute little shops. And there's always somewhere to explore here in Japan. We've been here for two years and there's just no way to do it all even in two years. If you're seeing this bridge, that means you walk too far. And some people say that this trailhead is hard to find and that's why. So turn back around, go right back <laughs> the other way, back across the bridge, and then you're gonna follow that up around and then right to your left will be the trailhead. This is the sign, it looks just like this. And that means that you're in the right place. This happens to us all the time because we can't read Japanese. And so I'm sure that sign said, turn this way. But there were so many signs that we didn't translate any of them. And we just kept walking past it, even though we've already been to this waterfall once. <laughs> as soon as you get on the trailhead, it's just such a vibe. It's so gorgeous. The water is just running and all you hear is the creek and the birds chirping and the greenery it's so vibrant and magical and really it's a dream this is a really easy trail i think it's less than a mile and it maybe takes 20 minutes to get to the end of it and 20 minutes to come back once you reach the end though you're not going to want to leave the waterfall you're just going to want to sit there and stare at it because it's just so majestic and beautiful this day was a little cloudy and it said it was a 35 percent chance of rain but we didn't get any rain we were really lucky 
The trail is extremely well maintained. You won't see any trash anywhere. There's these beautiful bridges and everything is just top notch and really well taken care of. As you're walking, you'll hear the creek all the way up and you'll start to see it too. Like as you approach the waterfall, there's all of these little mini waterfalls. I wanted to get in the water so bad, but there's actually a sign posted that says no pets and no swimming. I could literally just sit here right in this spot and meditate for hours. It's just beautiful and amazing. When I thought about Japan before I moved here, I thought about Tokyo and the city and, you know, like high tech and living in the future. But I really didn't realize how absolutely breathtaking and gorgeous Japan would be. And there's so many amazing waterfalls and hikes and places to see in Japan. On the way up the trail, I almost ran right into a spider and Devron yelled and I stopped and ended up throwing my phone and my flip-flops fell off and <laughs> that spider jumped right off of his web and he was like, yeah, I don't trust y'all at all. And yes, I wore slides on this trail and you can too. I just feel more comfortable with my toes out and... Did I need tennis shoes? You know, I never need tennis shoes. Like, that's like a running joke between me and Devron is that he's like, do you ever wear shoes? Like, no, that's one thing about me is I don't like wearing shoes. And honestly, I've been like that ever since I was a little girl. They say that Hasawa Falls is one of the top 100 waterfalls in Japan, and it's a whopping 62 meters tall. For those of you who don't really comprehend meters <laughs> it's 203 feet tall all of the rocks were just covered in moss and water was just dripping down off of the moss and it was just so gorgeous to see in person naturally i had to crawl down and get as close as i possibly could to this waterfall i think it honestly alters your brain chemistry to just be in the presence of something so magnificent and gorgeous and the way that you're just surrounded by these huge rocks and it just looks like a jungle or a rainforest you really enter a portal and just like a whole new dimension when visiting this waterfall we are leaving japan soon and one thing that we told ourselves is that we wanted to figure out a way to make time to get back to this waterfall at least one time before we left the country. Right now we're just kind of repeating our favorite things and just taking it all in and making sure that we take advantage of every last moment until we leave here and we're going to be on to a new adventure. One of our favorite things to do together is just go exploring and find new places to see and new things to do, new places to eat. Devron and I seriously have so much fun together. We brought a little blanket to just lay out and sit on and then we just relaxed and watched the waterfall. That was our little friend right there and it really made me laugh. I honestly could not stop taking pictures and videos the entire time I was there and I was just taking it all in and enjoying the waterfall as it splashed onto my face. It's so misty sitting in that area. I don't know why, but me and Devron find the construction workers so entertaining here because they just hold these orange wands and they just slowly direct traffic. And one habit that I've adopted since I've been here in Japan because everyone is so respectful is bowing. So what people do is they just slightly bow to each other. It's just a sign of respect, which feels so good and I absolutely love. Everyone and their mom has a G-Wagon here and I saw this G-Wagon I just had to record the scenery and just show you a little bit of the way Japan looks. We pulled up to a stoplight and saw these kids and they were so cute with their little pink hats just all walking around on a little daycare field trip. It's a common thing here for all of the kids to be dressed in these little hats that are all the same color. We couldn't pass up the opportunity to get a burger from Moss. 
There's quite a few restaurants that we want to go back to, and so this is the last time that we will ever eat at Moss Burger. It did not disappoint, and it was so good, as always. It's definitely worth your time to go check out Hoswa Falls. I highly recommend it.